Ebusia for my memo wa kwa ba na enne the new patriotic party Jubilee House na na dodan kwa kufadu any Dr. Muhammad Boumia eh good news and kasana ba betubia indeed the African magazine abo eh Dr. Muhammad Boumia din abona paso enam eh ni impact awaja eh wo amanfo so eh in the whole Africa he is been nominated as the top influencer na abusia for Dr. Muhammad Boumia Juma wo di eh wo Ghana ha o hwe ni digitization system or dia ba e pub out a yes come as ni ghost names ni chese wa be fa kweti kwan so bia dia piska na emfa because we are dealing with a system and yet the situation whereby a o ko tue sika she ni panse ma na kwaji receipt na medem ma info bia ba be pp ma ma chese corruption adobro e yet the economy na o she dr muhammad bo mi adwuma dia wo dia indeed he have been recognized by the african magazine na enei eh o ka dr muhammad bo mi adin a Chese ube tima bu ni pebi tise po kagami din ya ka hon. Eye really am wotu a we Kenya president. Oche Miki so a we Senegal so president. All these leaders ami bubo din have leave impact on the people. Ama African magazine a recognize on ma. I mean top 100 influencer. O ka ane chese e chese indeed. O ma ye bibi eja African continent a e be timi e de abo ye hon bra. Na ano pe yi, obi baka se na digitization yi, e e no ane digitization a ye se e ene ene gana ka adane ye si se yi na na debi o man fo. O she recently, e ye drones e di e dro e koko various places a, yi ni na e ni mse Afrika a se hu, no kwa yon hon a se mna ane hon a den. But indeed, the new patriotic party a ye bibi kakra, e ye bit ma bo mwen sen kakra mo mo, but e nye ni ni na, but e un kwa so ya a di e son bo, na e ye mates a ye emergency a wase we should attend to no. And I'm a Dr. Muhammad Boumia at this initiative way and a policy way by a Jesse. A boa ma in near me no case African magazine. I recognize it, Papa. So, yeah, I mean, influence and that's what I'm the number one man because OSHA digitization system now, but Ghana is the first country due to report our abitur and chess. Ghana indeed. A diye na ye ye na e sa so nam so ama e digital property addressing system so di abba. E ne ube tre fi e bie unwe shi ya na o mo wo number plate bo 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 address plate chese. O di a di e mani obi, o pe se unko si obi so, o u chilo bi kwa yin chese sa ane mana mana ye o fo. E to su bie mobile money interoperability system ma abba. Gana ha chese, ya lenke bank account to yo mobile money wallet ha. Easy access. Unko di la yo bang so. Che se sana ni yama we ni ni na na. Ye African magazine have recognized ya bo Dr. Muhammad Boumia so a che se. Ni din e di inten ha. E wo gana ha ye pa 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 ya no pay. Fortunate enough for us. Ye nyan na na akomia. Ye nan akomia ni den ye nan akomia STC boss. Ono asu na ne di e ye Dr. Muhammad Boumia. Campaign team ni tinti me ye pa. Na no pay. O di moun che mou do asim nou soukwa me jibre bo poto kasa. Na on fa en tou dja e ma ye. Yes, I saw the publication with Dr. Baumia in the top 100. I don't think anybody will be surprised. You know, if we don't have anything at all in this country in the last five years, there's a slow revolution going on in this country. Uh, it's slow, but it's actually revolutionary because it's changing our lives mm -hmm. and, and taking the country right into the middle of the 21st century. And that is the digital revolution. And the spirit behind it has been Dr. Baumia. And indeed, the Ghanaians have given him the nickname Mr. Digitalization. Um, it, to acknowledge the drive that he has brought mm -hmm. to that effort. And anywhere in this world, whether it's an advanced Influencer. country or a poor country, you have to digitize. And for the work that is going on in this country, it, it it's creeping on us. So we, we don't, it doesn't hit you in the face but it's going on and when you look at it you would see that it's truly truly revolutionary and so 
uh, for Dr. Baumia to be the driving force. He definitely will be in the forefront when it comes to the people who are making change happen in Africa. Wow. Uh, very uh, succinctly put. Um, but let, let's not shy away from the big elephant in the room. It's 2024. Mm. Uh, we're 11 months away or a little less than that, um, 10 and a couple of weeks. And um, we will be going to uh, the polls to elect our next president. Um, as uh, we all know, uh, Dr. Balmia is the presidential candidate for the New Patriotic Party. Help us appreciate where you're at in terms of campaign. Um, how much work has gone into it? How confident are you that you will be able to achieve your mm. goal? Mm. So, um, if you just allow me, um, because we're talking about the his uh, inclusion mm -hmm. in, in the list of 100 most influential Africans and focusing on his work with the Degita. So, uh, I just retrieve some of the um, things that are happening, and I thought it might be appropriate if you give me uh, a minute and a half sure. to just go through. Look, the so now all of us who are willing, we have the Ghana card. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no serious country you go in this world where there is no national identification document. This business where you go to SNIT for your social security registration, they give you um, and a number with about 18 digits. Mm -hmm. You go to file your tax, the revenue people give you tax identification number with another 24 digits. You you go for your passports and there's another uh, uh, 18 digits. Um, hospital, health insurance, they give you another, you know. Now we have one identification that serves every purpose. That's what happens everywhere in the world. Everywhere where there's a progress. And it takes a big effort to be able to deliver this single national ID to Ghanaians. You remember in the eight year period between 2009 and 2016 there was no national ID card issue to anybody so it takes a now on the back of this card um, today when you have a little baby and you go for the first way in the baby gets a national ID card number which will be the identification for that baby throughout their lives. And when they are 18, mm -hmm. they actually then get a card. But they'll get a number right from <laughs> when, they, when, when they were six weeks old or something. Um, when you are a student now at the tertiary, and I, I, I think you also must have experienced this. You wanted a loan, you have to go and look for three guarantees. Mm -hmm. And it was difficult. You go to people, they say, I've already guaranteed. And look at the thousands of students. Now, you just need your Ghana card because that identity follows you throughout. You just need that. You now have your digital address. I'm sure you have your digital address at Asempa. And all you need is give that address and anybody this is uh, exactly. assesses it. <laughs> I hope you don't take my coffee away. No, 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 no. <laughs> Indeed, I mean, we, we do have a digital address. Um, we have a digital address, okay. you know. So you just, all you have to do is just put that on your call cards, and that's it. Anybody, um, interoperability is a major development. Yeah. This be, well, this, the, so now you can send money across networks. So MTN to Vodafone or to Airtel or whichever. But more crucially, 
interoperability allows you in Ghana to move funds between your bank account and your mobile wallet. Okay. It is the first in Africa to, to move funds. When you go to Europe, you don't find this in many countries where you can actually... So your mobile wallet now becomes a bank account. You are now going for your tax. It's just your Ghana card number. It's your tax identification number. Mm -hmm. So all the people who have Ghana cards automatically have tax, have been registered for taxation purposes. And it's moved people eligible for taxation from about 4 million to about 16 million people with Ghana cards. Mm -hmm. And so now it gives us a base to try and broaden the tax base because you have you now have the numbers you know and all this is possible as a result of the Ghana card and as a result of the guitar drive being um, um, championed by Dr. Barmia today the policeman um, sees your car they enter your number in their phone and they can see if your insurance is up to date mm -hmm. has it happened to you before you have been lucky I've been very Th three weeks ago that. I saw these police people at a uh, and um, they checked my insurance and I saw the phone they were holding. They've even sell um, well, the, the band we used to uh, hold. Oh, the, the, the rubber band. Yeah, they had, that's what the, the yeah. police officer had used for his phone. <laughs> and yet he was able to check my insurance. Yes. And to tell me my insurance was two days out of date. Mm -hmm. Two days out of date. Can you imagine? At, um, you know, and it's all possible DVLA, drive, you want to do your driver license, you want to register your vehicle. Mm -hmm. The the whole, the offices and the process have been so digitized. Is it, the, the revenue implications are huge. Um, DVLA, you look at the period before the digitization of the operations and offices. 71 million is now over 168 million and so on. The same for um, you go to Beth and Death, I, I mentioned that Beth and Death Registry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we played Nigeria for the World Cup qualification in Kumasi, I happened to be in Kumasi at, on, at the, on that day. And the ticketing for that football match was e ticket. Mm -hmm. and, and so now you can have e ticketing for football matches. And the implication for revenue are enormous. You don't feel landing card, you don't feel departure card. You know, those things used to be a huge bother. Yeah. You now you don't anymore. Um, and so now your health insurance, yeah, those days when you're driving through Asalamba and these other places, you see a mob on the streets. The street is partially blocked with 400 people in a house. Health insurance. I'm sure you used to see those scenes. Yes, indeed. You used to see those scenes. And there's a particular road I used to use in Asalam. That was always, so I had to avoid that road, even though it was a very short road mm -hmm. to my office at that time. Now you can just sit in this posh studio and renew your health insurance. And now your health insurance number is also be your SNIT number, it's also your uh, tax number, it's also your uh, passport. Um, it, it, you know, so it, it's a major development that streamlines ID and also has implications um, for uh, national development. Now, public transport, for example, mm -hmm. uh, very soon we, there's this software, it's called Tap and Go, that's been developed, that's going to be rolled out soon. That just allows you to pay for Trotro or anything in the software, just tap. And then it goes, which is going to be rolled out soon. The, the local taxi business, you now they've been complaining about the about the about the ride hailing the the Ubers and the Yangos and so on. Um, in collaboration with the private sector, an app has been developed now for local taxis, so that they too can enjoy ride hailing markets.